Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play I the Somnium Files. Last time we met Date, the character we're controlling, and yeah, we're investigating a murder. Woman was found on a merry-go-round. It's someone that Date knows. And inside the middle of the merry-go-round was a little girl with a murder weapon. That was pretty strange. He also uh, learned how the game works and did a deep dive into Date's psyche. Today we're in the boss's office with a lot of stuff to examine. A cabinet. Th thank you. <laughs> okay, is she a pack rat? Police poster. Another police poster. Plaster figure. Looks like Alexander the Great. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. I like how she thinks. <laughs> a souvenir from some rural town? Haven't seen one of these in a while. And nobody uses pennants. Curious mask displayed on the wall. That's my grandpa's death mask. Uh, his what? Guy had a huge face. I'm sorry, what? We 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 making masks out of corpses' faces now? A stationary bike, really? Stationary bike for indoor training. The triangular ruler. Okay, just a little bit of everything. We got symbols. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. Wow. A lifesaver. Snowboard. And skis. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? No, can't say I am. A boy band poster. <sighs> yep. They're all my husbands. Okay, first off, A, you're married? And B, your husband's into K-pop bands? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Boss is single, by the way. Ah, okay, she's trying to save face. No, I'm not into K-pop. Baka. Police poster. This has been here since the first time I was in this room. Oh, this one is green. There's still dialogue, but it's probably nothing major now that the, like, real, like, interesting text is gone. A map on the wall. Let me guess. Death mask? Was the grandfather's death mask? Okay. A public bath door curtain. <laughs> An electronic darts game. Why do you have this? So if we're trapped down here when World War Three starts, we'll have something to do. I mean, you gotta be prepared. I'm like, no, I was looking at this. A chair. All right. She doesn't use the chair. That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh yeah? How much? 10 billion yen. What are you, in elementary school? What? The battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like you and me. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. Hmm? Nani? Boss's desk. There are stickers all over the front. She has a computer on her desk. Duh. The type that has a monitor built in. God, there's a lot of stuff in here. Happy birthday banner decoration. That birthday party was a while ago, though. A pumpkin carved like a jack-o'-lantern. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? <laughs> Sorry, it was funnier in my head. 
she might have had a little bit of the sauce during the midday break. Bookshelf. It's full of files and binders, but I don't know of what. It's got books, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. What does she do in here? Whatever she wants, damn it. Fishing flag, a flag with big catch on it. A soba restaurant door curtain. <laughs> oh my god. You think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? Can't say I was expecting that when I was going to examine the tanuki. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay, you just keep crossing the legs. Like, all right. Soccer ball. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. So boss's old love interest must have been an athlete. Interesting. It's a volleyball. Police officer mannequin. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This is the moment I started to worry about boss's mental health. Started? I, I, I shouldn't be mean. An RC Overall car. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. <gasps> what? <laughs> RC races had flag girls? I know it's probably exaggeration, but could you imagine? Shelves. Bags hanging on the rack. Inside the bags are masks, like for costume parties. Oh, I thought those were like evidence bags. Did she just rob, like, a Halloween store? Like, a Halloween, uh, blah, blah, blah. I, I forgot what the store is called. Party City? Wh whatever the Halloween thing that pops up, like, every year at abandoned, like, stores. They just open up shop there for, like, two months, and then they're gone. Cold air is blowing from the AC. Stop ogling me. I am not ogling you. Also, it's pronounced ogling. Mm hmm. Okay, so boss has a thing for Date. The entrance. Riveting. More bags. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one. The smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Okay, I wasn't expecting things to get that goddamn deep. Shit. That explains, like, the mess the random knickknacks everywhere, the toys. I didn't even see this coat hanger. A lot of stuff hanging on the coat hanger. Something else. Like it? It reminds me of you, Date. My name is Konami. The kanji for key can be read as Konami. But that's not my real name. I don't know my real name. I don't know anything about myself past six years ago. Oh, so that's why we're doing the thing with the thing and the, um... Thing. Memory locks. Isn't there a button you could press to see, like... All the clickables. I 
guess not. Since that just brings up the menu. Okay. Well, she's got a lot of stuff. But now we've wasted enough time, let's go ahead and talk. Um... I see you have a still... Well, I see you still haven't cleaned this place up. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Okay, she's probably suffering from depression. Um... Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? Oh, is that case going to be connected to him because he can't remember anything past six years? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene and I got a little carried away and... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. Yeah, it must have had something to do with him. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Okay, then, what's the status of this investigation? Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... <laughs> Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. I've been having flashbacks recently. Fragments of my past. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, so, nothing to report then. Got it. Okay, about Mizuki. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No, she just lives with me. Well, that's... Okay. So then how does she get into the goddamn carousel? You ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing, boy? Uh, Mizuki Okiura. The girl we found at the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood-related. Sort of like a stray cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Hmm. Um, any leads at all? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand. We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. And we're avoiding the uh, next logical conclusion that uh, the 12 year old Mizuki is probably the prime suspect because of the situation. 
about Renji? Picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. Renju is Shoko's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. So then why is she living with you? Not to mention an old friend of mine. Oh, okay. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him, had him verify Shoko's corpse, and naturally started asking him questions. Hmm. Now about the ice pick. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. So what would... If she were to have killed her mother, what would have been the motive? No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Hey, any other information? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. Female, residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name. Nadami. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Is that it? Whoa, oh, wait, whoa, 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 I just... Coffee maker? I didn't even examine it? I can't live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. Mm-hmm. I'm always amused by boss's ability to make anything sound dirty. <laughs> I wonder if she does it on purpose. Yeah, she does. I could have sworn there was... Passed over something else. Yeah, that's a... Begins with... Shogi poster? Shogi piece. It's a king Shogi piece. Okay. Oh wow, that's right there too. A broom is leaning against the wall. Is there anything else? Have you ever identify who called it in? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer.
You need to watch out for your eye, buddy. Hello. Yeah, that's not unsettling if that were to happen IRL. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. Okay. There is Iba. About I? About Iba? About my eye? About AI? I've been thinking a lot lately. About myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I really me? Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rimbaud once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. Hmm. I, <laughs> I love that these are all just like so similar. Hey, so about my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. Okay. Also, I can look at boss. Boss is looking at Iba. Okay. Hey, what does love mean to you? Oh, I thought you were about to ask about AIs. Okay. Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. You don't have to call him a dork about Iba. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Hey. Did I look at that, this rep? Did it say who it was or am I just forgetting? Wait, is that in front of it? Yeah. Oh my God, I need to change the angle I'm sitting up at. Her wine bottle's lined up. Is, is there anything, like I, I need to look on the uh, preview screen here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. His his head. He's looking around the Oh wow. That is a fucking amazing touch. He's looking around the room to where I'm looking. Oh my god. Why does this amuse me so? Yeah, I'm looking on the like recording preview. Yeah, I need to do something about my TV angle. It's just always seems a little more dark than what it should be. I am easily amused by his head just looking around by me rotating. That is fucking great. All right, let's talk to you. Um, who are you? I know who you are. Uh, why'd you come out? I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? It's been five years since we first met. One day I got called into the control room and Pewter, the engineer, showed it to me. The official title is A.I. Ball. You may call her Iva. 
the artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadget System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Iba's been living in my head ever since. She gathers info and runs analysis. She can also access wireless networks and hack into other computers. While she's in my eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. It lets us talk without actually speaking. Who are you? Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. Uh, you know why you, you are kind of cute like that. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, so vain. Am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. Okay, I mean, to be fair, robots tend to not understand uh, sarcasm. All right, back inside. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> Left eyeball is Iba. She sees things differently than I do. I see what you did there. I already asked this. Okay, what's the real reason you came out? Oh. There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? Ooh. You have? Alright, who, who reported the crime? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Loom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. Ooh. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Oh. Map. When you are able to visit a new destination, map will appear at the bottom right of the screen. Open up a map. Open up the map and pick a destination. Okay. Now let's check the tutorial by going to menu file appendix. All right, let's go to the diner then. Saturday, 10, 18 a.m.
Am I waiting for it to finish loading or... Oh no, I just press a button. <laughs> I was there for like minutes, just like, is, is, oh, is my game frozen? All right, my bad. I'm sorry, we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. <laughs> I flashed my badge. Oh, heavens no. I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita. Before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? <laughs> oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. Mayumi put the knife down on the table beside her. A kid's chair. Beer crates are cases. A large jellyfish. Sure, it's a large jellyfish in the middle of this restaurant here. Okay, bookshelf. It's got stickers on the side of it. A lucky cat statue. <laughs> Are you unfamiliar with the superstition? Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Hmm, never heard of that. Is that right? Was hoping he would try it himself, not gonna lie. Old CRT television. You think that thing gets any channels? A melee fan is crying tears of joy right now. Unlikely. I do not detect any tuners or antennas. She's Beer cute. ad. You have zero standards, Kanane Date. Well, dang. Menus written on the wall on Tenzaku paper. A table. Okay. Salt. Pepper, a blend of red cayenne and spices, and an unidentified liquid. It says Mayumi's black sauce. Must be hot. Kuroda on the table. Oops. cheek boiled in red wine. Let's hope that's not what it sounds like. Okay, doesn't have much to say about those chairs. Thought I saw something else over here, like a map? See the kitchen area past the counter. Disposable chopsticks. That is the autograph of Iruka from Dark Zone Kalimas. Who? Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's a knife on the table. kitchen knife on the table. Something is engraved on the handle. Swinging, swinging door. door. Yeah, yeah, it's a swinging door. A swinging door. <laughs> it 
it says good luck. It's a clock. Hands off those hands. <laughs> Just kidding. Is this woman okay? Uncertain. But she reminds me of you. <laughs> what, from making bad puns? A small sitting cushion. This reminds me of the funniest props compilation I saw. You reached pretty far back for that reference. A low table. That's just the calendar. Thank goodness we have that. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what year it is. That's kind of bad. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Oh, I hope you are. Doesn't seem to be anything else of note. It says something about engraving. But don't I have that like zoom in thing? I guess not. Tremendously sorry for the random cuts that are going to be in this part. Don't know why I'm so tired, considering I actually, like, went to sleep earlier than usual. And, um, yeah, like, I actually had more sleep than normal. I guess that might be why I'm not used to that. And I, I don't know, whatever. A stool. Well, I'm also not even recording this late. Like, that's the sad thing. God, it is so hard to pinpoint certain things. Zoom, that's how we zoom. Oh, you have flowers on the knife. A kitchen knife with a floral pattern. And there's something written on the handle. Mom, I love you always. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Don't think I've ever gotten my mom kitchen utensils for Mother's Day or her birthday or anything. Does that make me a bad kid I could have sworn I passed over something else over here that was green oh TV TV yeah no 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 point all right um let, let's start with small talk about the weather the rain last night was pretty bad wasn't it the rain? Oh, right, yes. Mm-hmm. Where's your husband? I think... He went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Okay, this is... She's acting really shifty. Tell me about your restaurant. Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Peculiar. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean. Never mind. Huh? How long have you been here? Oh, about 30.
30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. Is Oda here? That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place where irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. That's strange. About Shoko. So I had to ask her about Shoko, just in case. I brought out the picture of Shoko and showed it to Mayumi. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Okay, what's the name of this company? Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Why does Oda hang out there? Because there's a goddess there. <laughs> oh, he's simping, okay. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota. Makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Okay. And, um, so this witch is working there? Yes. That good-for-nothing temptress works for that entertainment group. She's an idol. Oh. Do you know her name? Uh, I'm assuming it's not witch. <laughs> her name? Uh, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. All right. I'm getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Okay, maybe it'll be on the box. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. I mean, he's making a conscious effort to simp, so, I mean, talk, talk to your son. The sender is Great Grin. A popular online store. The product description reads, Solid Model. Oh, no. Corporate box, delivery slip attached to it. We should look inside. Use the x-ray mode. Okay, well, it's not a cast-off model, at least. Now, what is this? A solid PVC model of a person, known as a figure. Something's written on the base. The letters appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A set. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. Hmm. Interesting. Can you call him? Call him? Yes. Does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not waste of money. This woman in this line of questioning, Date. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. 
Thank you. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. <coughs> there is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of his <laughs> disposal codes. Oh, yeah, um... Yeah, yeah, that, that's the main point of worry there. Date, I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnisgate. Renju owns that company. The plot is ever thickening. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iba, bring the car around. At once. About this idol. To mention a box. No, yeah, and I already. Oh, the map's flashing. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to the talent agency. Lemniscate, Saturday, 11.45 a.m. That's not a loading screen. Okay, great. Cool. Now we know. Now we know. That's him? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? He does not look like he's in his 20s. I showed him my badge. I'm from the MPD. The police? Alright, Otaku. But first... Window. It's a large window. It's a plant. Date, look! Ants! Look at them go! Yay! We need to have a discussion about your obsession with insects. <laughs> so far. So far, a sofa. It's a sofa. Boo, you stink. Abstract painting, I almost misread that as Alucard painting. Abstract painting what hung up. that supposed to be? I do not know. I need to stop pressing A before I'm done, like, saying something. I just keep cutting off the beginning of the text or spoken stuff. The company's logo. Lemniscate. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting behind the desk. There's a receptionist with huge breasts sitting. Oh my god. Let me guess, is the next one gonna be? There's a receptionist with huge breasts. Yeah, okay. And is it just gonna go down to huge breasts this time around? How was I able to predict this shit? Okay. One track mine. <laughs> okay, that's just awful. <laughs> Huge breasts sitting behind the desk. That's... That's just bad. <laughs> Incomprehensible painting hung up. 
Dante, you're better than that, man. Come on now. It's like blatant objectification. That's a high school. A high school? No, Dante. <laughs> it's a high table. A door. It's probably an office back there. A music video. Professional videos the agency's talent are playing. Nothing dirty, though. This isn't that kind of company. Well, based on, um, whatchamacallit, Date's, uh, observation of the receptionist there, could have fooled me. That's a reception desk. Ooh, vending machine, what they got? Full of drinks? Okay. Lots of magazines in that rack. Let's see. How to take a girl home in just two minutes? Now take a look at that. Date, please. You're on the job, buddy. A low table in front of the sofa. Hey, Iva. What do you think would happen if I flip this table over right now? It would come out of your salary. Eh, you're probably right. Guess I won't. Laptop. Oda's laptop. Can I reach over and break that thing in half? <laughs> if you can pay for the damages. Damn it. He is very anti otaku. Alright, um Are you a fan of ASAT? Let's break the How ice. Did you know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Just kidding. I just have really good intuition. <laughs> Excuse me? I was hoping he would. Aw, oh, come on. Don't leave me hanging like that. Uh, what are you typing? Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? What can you tell me about last night? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m. You called the police from the payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2-3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. This is the type of kid I hate the most. Uh, one who, like, knows the law. Did you look at me? No. I'm kind of busy right now. Um, I don't think that's something I should be doing, but okay. Punch him. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. <laughs> what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. Well, while you're thinking, I'll kick him then. I'll make it look I like an accident. Wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. <laughs> what? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi Fi. Oh, shit. Oh, y'all about to get him where it hurts. Yo, physical pain comes and goes, but like, internet connection? Trouble? Oh, shit, son. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Or that. To Witter. Tessa referred to Asa? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. Huh, one weeb operating multiple Twitter accounts at once. For weird fandom purposes. Damn. What? Optical protein fiber, 
Pongo Ponko and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. Okay, now I'm beginning to think Oda might have uh, some mental health issues. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic. Yes. Like, if there's no mental stuff there, then yeah, that's sad. Creating multiple accounts to just interact with each other. This is striking a little too close to home. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. Hey, kid. Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. <laughs> two witter. <I> <laughs> nah, uh, uh, I don't you know why about? that's just. Getting me so much to Twitter. You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical protein fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Just kidding. I just have really good intuition. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Alright, weep. Answer my goddamn questions. Uh. Hmm. Why are you here? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemniscate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting <coughs> in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. Okay. When did you start with the fake accounts? Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. Oh my god. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. What? Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... So he really is just doing this. It's a fake white knight. Like, he, he's... So, creating, like, fake attacks against her so that he can then come in and own the troll. And then... Everyone will be like, oh my god, you're such a really good fan of her, and then like she'll notice you and shower you with attention. You are sad. That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? Nah, he'll keep doing it. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around now? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey everyone, uh, this guy... <laughs> okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Shh. Okay, so about last night... I went to Bloom Park... Because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. Oh. And for what reason were you meeting her? Are we gonna have to, uh... Get uh, Chris Hansen in here to mediate, or uh, what did you say? Mizuki Okiyura, she's the daughter of the president of Lemniscate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. How do you know Mizuki? 
She's just a friend. Yeah, she better be. What? Why do you care? Uh, you're an adult? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here. The Lemnus Kate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? This dude is... How do you... Uh, do, do I ask again, or...? Anyway, I have her okay. look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? Oh my god. What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. I just post my fanfic on forums and message boards and Reddit. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Mm-hmm. I provided detailed account of last night, buddy. Around 8.10 last night. I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. Hmm. What is that parody? Nile. So it wouldn't be like Instagram or Telegram. I'm about to say if we're going the river route, Nile River, Amazon River, but Amazon is shopping, so that wouldn't be that. What are they referencing? I feel like that is a reference to something, but I can't quite... Uh, what's that thing that like, you can get stickers for? And Nintendo has done like official stickers for that messaging app. Um... Line. Yeah, or yeah, yeah, it has the same letters as Line. The Line app. Okay, so yeah, yeah, they're parodying Line. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry go round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. But Mizuki was determined to go. Mm-hmm. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Her there did you leave her there yeah what he said you left a 12 year old girl by herself i didn't mean to i was panicking people do stupid things when they're in fight or flight mode like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire jeez you're a real hero kid see i knew you would make fun of me this is why i didn't want to tell you is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, 
her roommate would kill her. Well, I mean... Good girl. <laughs> Why'd you use a pay phone? You got a cell phone. Oh, because it'd be traced? I tried using my cell phone at first. But my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Otis' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. Because Tessa spelled backwards as A said. Okay. Hello, Twitch streamer. And you are? Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean a detective? I've never met a real detective before. He's just looking done, like right off the bat, just done. Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Is something the matter? No, nothing. Hmm. Um. Are you A set? Let me confirm something. You're A set, right? Let's play a game. Shadows. Um. Red. Silhouette. A set. What? Fears. Uh. Upset. Regret. A set. Wet sweat A set. <laughs> Yay! A set, you bet. Yeah, I got the same exact look on my face as Date right now. Like, the fuck? The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave. At I agree, Iba. Yeah. How old are you? I turned 18 this year. A senior in high school? Yep. Date, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? Oh my god. Why did he look so happy about it? He, he just, uh, okay. Um, what's your relationship with Oda? Relationship? We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Yeah, you're a simp. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. Yep, White Knight. Oh, my lady, let me help you. I will defend your honor. Like a superhero than a thrall. I... Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Yep, that's why he's doing it. Stop, you're making me blush. This guy. So I can't tell if she's airheaded or putting on an act. Like if she's legit airheaded or. I, I don't know. It just feels off. Your friends with Mizuki? Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am. Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter. So, we hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically. 
Mizuki and I live under the same roof. She doesn't tell me about her personal life. She doesn't tell me much of anything, come to think of it. I'm totally in the dark. So, Mizuki must come here to hang out sometimes. About the sock puppeting. Hey, let me tell you something. Oh shit, going right for the jugular. It's about those posts on two winter. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. Hmm. Hmm? Something wrong? No more questions? Oh. Gee, Tessa, you always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Dude's gonna grow up to be a serial killer. I mean, he's already, you know, an adult, but still. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air. When I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? Hmm. Did you talk to her about last night? Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ota seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Tessa! Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Oto wanted her attention. Mm-hmm. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Actually, I already knew about it before Ota told me. What? How? It's all over the internet. What? When I saw Ota this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. What about Shoko? Took out Shoko's photo from my pocket and showed it to Ota. You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait. Do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either. They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nodami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. What? You'll what? No? Why? Because I want to know more about what happened. Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Ota was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Yeah, the, the vibes she's giving off are so weird. Take a video. Huh? Just do it. Mr. Dante. Please, Mr. Dante. You can't leave oh, me. God. I can't imagine life without you. 
What are you doing? Ocha, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. The receptionist must be wondering what the fuck is going on. Just like me, what? Is it blackmail? Fuck you looking mad about, son? Oh, because he got hugged and you didn't? White knight. No, not at all. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Staring daggers at me. Well, he can continue to stare. She, she's just like, just, just there. Must be so confused. Why does their logo look like that? I guess the infinity symbol. All right. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? Yep, it's blackmail. She's shady. She is shady as shit. This whole, like, ditzy, perky thing, this is an act. I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. Oh, and just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... Wow. I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. That's one way of putting it. I don't trust her. I don't trust her. Also, I have no idea how I'm gonna break these parts up. I was gonna do like one seemingly day per video or um, like longer segment, like the day and the little mind stuff or I don't know, this doesn't seem to, like, have well-defined, like, parts or segments, like Ace Attorney or Danganronpa, or even Virtue's Last Reward, which, yeah, did have some lopsided parts, but, you know, it was just easy to go to, like, where forks were, but, yeah, um... I think I will just stop here. I do not trust her in the slightest. But yeah, um, this will be a decent enough place to stop. Next time we return to the scene of the crime to investigate with her tagging along. That's not suspicious at all. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time for some more Let's Play I the Somnium Files. The plot is thickening and I am like not trusting so many people. Goodbye.